and welcome to Die Rolling. I'm the ever excitable Adam, and today I'm very excited, um, and I'm very Adam, to play uh, Aliens, another glorious day in the core. So, um, yeah, this has been a game I've been wanting to play for ages. Aliens is such a favourite film of mine. Um, I own Lifeform, which is a really fun uh, alien slash aliens style game, which I highly recommend to anybody who's never heard of it or anyone who wants to play an alien based game. Find life form, give it a go. It's great fun. Um, and also I own Nemesis, which is also um, an aliens based game. Um, it's really fun, great miniatures, uh, and it's a lot of replayability. You've also got some like uh, kind of traitorous mechanics in there as well. It's kind of semi cooperative. You can't, you don't know who you trust. So they've got the whole kind of way than Yutani corporate element to it. You're not quite sure who you can trust in that way, which is great. But this is an official aliens game. Uh, with miniatures that look like the characters, apart from Ripley, who looks a bit like Bill Clinton. Um, but yeah, they 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 look great. They it plays great, and um, I played this first scenario a few times. Uh, obviously, the game's only just come out, so I may be getting some of the wrong rules kind of applied to this, and I've made some judgment calls in this as well. So if, like always, you guys spot anything I've done wrong, then please leave it below um, so I can continue to play this game and improve. Um, hopefully, uh, if the uh, the mission goes well, I can carry on with the second level of the campaign. Um, if it goes poorly, maybe we'll just leave it there. Um, but I'm currently going through a V Commandos run through at the moment, so this is probably just going to be like a one-off for the moment. Uh, but we'll see what kind of reaction we get from uh, from this. Uh, but yeah, so um, I'm going to get to the table. We'll see how well I do. Wish me luck. Okay, so here we are for mission one, Newt. Uh, we have got our fire team of six individuals here. We've got um, we've got Hudson, who's got this really cool motion tracker here. If he's not already blurred, so we got Hudson there. Uh, we have got Hicks, who's carrying the shotgun. I was really happy with the with the kind of camo I managed to pull off on these guys. Uh, we got Vasquez. Apologies if I call her Vasquez at any point. Uh, I have a, like a bit of a mental block with with that. How you pronounce it? Uh, we got Gorman. I will probably uh, call him an asshole if I fail any of my uh, my rolls. Uh, we've got Frost, who's got the flamethrower there. And as as pointed out in the comments, he's the guy who dies by flamethrower. Um, and uh, we of course have Ripley, who um, yeah, she's she's wearing a jacket. She's sporting a big gun. Um, so. All, all good stuff. The general idea for this particular mission is we are trying to find Newt. Um, so, if we have a quick look at the board, uh, you can see at the top right we have two alien blips on there. So we definitely know there are some some aliens that are going to be coming in here. We they aren't going to get any support until we uncover these blips here, or until we get to turn three, which is when we start spawning aliens on the board. Now, under these four um, four mission objectives. One of them is Newt, so I'm just going to shuffle these up quickly. Um, I honestly don't know where any of this stuff is. Uh, if you've seen my playthroughs before, you'll know I try to be as fair as possible. I reshuffle decks when I shouldn't do, that, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, one of those is Newt. So we've got to get our Marines down here to find Newt. Uh, once Newt has been discovered, we then have to calm her down, which we're going to have to roll four or below to be able to calm her down. Otherwise, she tries to run away from the Marines because, you know, she's survived long enough on her own in this place. Um, up here, we have a computer terminal, which is if we get there, we can do a tech test, which is basically we have to roll under the tech score of our Marine. Um, and that will enable us to look at any face down blip token. Uh, another thing to point out is we've got these four numbers on here. They're the alien spawn points, which we are able to actually barricade as well as any of these doors. So I'm going to split my team between um, finding finding Newt. So Hudson's going to go up here to access the console to try to find Newt in here. Um, we're going to send three people. So Ripley, uh, Hicks and Vasquez are going to come down here to find uh, Ripley. Whilst Gorman and Frost are going to try and barricade these two entrances here and potentially stop the aliens before they're coming. I have forgotten to actually add a little token on the end here uh, to show you where the exit is. Boom, there's the exit. There's all my alien blip tokens. My dice are in here. Uh, the stars on the dice are equal to one. Uh, you're always trying to roll under your scores here. And then let's take you through 
the uh, the team I've got. So um, these guys come double sided. There's a hero side, like a character side, and there is a grunt side. So we have got two um, heroes we're playing with. We're playing Ellen Ripley as hero and Hudson as a hero. So Hudson has an MP, sorry, M418 pulse rifle. He has got a motion tracker and he has got a pistol. Um, you can only have any weapons which have backup. They're the only ones that can go into the slot on the right hand side of them. Every time he activates, I can recycle any number of events or equipment cards from my hand. Uh, I don't have any in my hand at the moment, but yeah, when that happens, we'll see. And at the end of activation, I can reveal a card. If it's an equipment or an event, uh, then put that card into your hand. Uh, if it's a weapon, you can look at the top card of the motion tracker deck. You may place the card on the bottom of the deck. So he's pretty good at, um, at kind of managing the spawning of the aliens there, which makes sense because he's got the motion tracker as well. Um, and for a free action, he can reveal a card. Um, and depending on what it is, depends on what can happen. So if it's an event or a equipment, he can look at the top two cards of the motion tracker deck, place one of these cards on the bottom of the motion tracker deck and the other card back on the top. Okay, uh, Ripley, she has got an M41A pulse rifle. On activation, she gets to recycle two endurance cards and draw one card. Um, she can also exhaust a card to choose a character within four spaces of Ripley, and they get to re-roll a failed defense roll. Um, she's got a decent tech and a decent aim. She's the best aim in this game. Um, she's got some body armor, so she fails a defense roll. She can reveal a card. Just realize Hudson hasn't got any body armor, so uh, we'll see what happens when we play this. Um, she's also got some grenades, so she can chuck those to try to destroy as many aliens as possible. The scares next, so she's on her grunt side, so everyone else is a grunt, so their stats aren't as good, and they don't have as many special abilities. She's got a smart gun, which is great fun. You get to roll two dice and to keep the lowest score. Um, and instead of it costing her three cards to do this, it only costs her two, because she's, she's, like, pretty good with it. Uh, she's got body armor and a helmet and some grenades. Frost has got a flamethrower, um, so whenever Frost um, shoots an M240, he reveals a card. If it's an event or a uh, equipment, he gets to recycle a card, so um, he can add cards back into the exhaustion deck. The flamethrower is quite cumbersome. We'll get to that if he manages to use it. He's got body armor. He's got a pistol for close encounters. Uh, Gorman has got an assault rifle. Uh, he's got a helmet. He's got an arc welder. The arc welder you discard to uh, barricade a door automatically. And he's got the grenades. And then finally Hicks. He's got a pulse rifle. He's got a shotgun for close encounters. And body armor. So that is my fire team there. Uh, it takes up quite a bit of space on my table. Uh, trying to film this. So I was thinking about doing this like a vertical top down thing. But I don't think it'll look as fun. So I'm going to try and just use a handy cam kind of approach to this. So there'll be lots of chopping and changing. So hopefully you won't get too much inertia. Uh, <laughs> won't get vertigo uh, watching this video. Um... Yeah, so our guys have to find Newt. As soon as they find Newt, they have to calm her down. And once they've calmed her down, they have to get it to that exit at the end there. They have got as many turns as they like to do this in, but the aliens will be spawning from turn three. So without further ado, let's begin. So turn one. Right, let's get this ball rolling. So uh, we're going to start with Hudson. So um, on a turn, just so you're aware... Um, the first thing you do is you reset your aim dial. So everyone has an aim dial, um, and at the start of every round, it gets reset to what their base uh, base aim is. But his aim is already there. We haven't shown anything, so we don't need to worry about it. The next thing you do, you resolve all on activation abilities. So let's take a quick look at uh, Hudson. So you may recycle any number of event or equipment cards from your hand. I don't have a hand, so I don't need to worry about this right now. So Hudson... We are going to move him up to this uh, computer area there. So uh, his speed is, uh, let's have a look. So his speed is four, so he's got movement of four here. So uh, one, two, three, four, and then one, two. I'm going to wait there uh, for next turn. Now, because he is a private, he gets to activate one other grunt. Uh, now, I'm a bit confused as to how I activate all the grunts in this, because... 
Um, Ripley's my other hero character, but she is a civilian, so she doesn't have a rank. And in the rule books it says, well, depending on what rank you are, it depends how many grunts you have. So I'm not quite sure how this works, but I'm just going to play it that Hudson can uh, activate one other character, and then when Ripley's finished her turn, she'll be able to activate grunts. But before we do that, though, we have finished our activation with Hudson. Um, so we have to... So we've uh, we resolved all those. We equipped any endurance cards we have. We didn't need to worry about that. We performed two actions. We did two moves. Uh, and then we resolve all end of activation abilities, which he has one. So let's have a quick look. And the end of uh, activation ability here is reveal a card. So if it's, uh, event or an, um, if it's an event or an equipment, I put it into my hand. If it's a weapon, I get to look at the top card of the motion tracker deck and I can place that card on the bottom of the deck. So let's see what he gets. And I have to do this every time. So the first card I draw is an event, so I get to keep this. Just deal with it. Discard a card from the top of the endurance deck to shuffle a hazard card on a character into the exhaust pile. Um, great, so that's in Hudson's hand. Um, and at this point, I then get to use rank to activate grunts. So everyone in this is technically a grunt apart from Ripley and Hudson. So I'm going to activate Gorman. So we've got these aliens over here, and I'm worried they're going to come through here and try to get out. So Gorman is going to move one, two, three, and then he is going to, um, where is it? So he has an arc welder, uh, and I get to discard this as an action to barricade a door within one space of my character. So I'm going to do that, and that's going to just barricade this up, stopping the alien menace from coming straight to me. Now this card is discarded, so let me give you a, a brief example here. So um, any cards that get exhausted get put into this little pile here, and then at some point they can get recycled to the bottom of this deck and then reshuffled. Anything we discard goes into this pile, and at the end of this particular mission, we are, if we succeed, we get to basically pick a couple of items out of here to keep. We then, I think we half this desk and half, half this deck, and then half the cards are out of the game for the rest of the campaign. So, um, so yeah, discarding stuff's not especially great, but what are we gonna do? So we have barricaded this door. Well done, Gorman. And now we pass the activation token to Ripley. So it's Ripley's turn now. Uh, and Ripley is going to be quite, um, quite easy to do this turn. So uh, on activation, her ability is she can recycle two endurance cards and draw one card, but there's nothing to recycle at the moment, so she can't do this just yet. Um, so her speed is five, so she kind of she can run straight for Newt here. So we're going to go. We can move through characters. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. And we're going to stay there because we have um, we have these two guys here. And if we move there, we're going to reveal it and potentially get attacked by aliens. So we're just going to leave it for the moment. Next, um, she hasn't got any end of activation um, abilities, so we're just going to get Vasquez to come in. She's going to move up there. We're going to get um, Hicks to come up over here. And then we're going to get um, Frost over here. He is going to barricade this entrance here. So uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. We're going to put him there because what we can potentially do... So if we manage to barricade this door, we can then barricade this spawn point. The enemies, uh, the aliens aren't going to actually be coming onto the board until turn three. So if we can try to stop them from coming out, that might be a good, um, yeah, a good use of our free actions. Okay, so uh, that's the end of the Marines' first turn. So we get the alien phase now, and we activate aliens. There aren't any on the board. We've only got blips. So we activate blips. And how we do that is we get the alien dice, and we roll it, and we see... Uh, what number we get depends on how fast they are. So we've got a speed of four. So these guys go towards the nearest um, nearest guy. So one, two, three, four. And he'll be up there as well. So they're coming there. As soon as they get line of sight, they will turn into an alien. And there'll be a number on here telling us how many aliens we've actually got to face there. Uh, but at the moment, we still can't see them because the door's barricaded. And um, yeah, we've, we've still got a bit of time. So we're on to turn two now. So um, starting with Hudson. So we know that on activation, we can recycle any number of 
cards from our hand. We do have something in our hand, but we're not going to play that just yet. Instead, we are going to use his technical abilities to try to use his computer to take a look at one of these four face down items. Uh, I say items, I actually mean blips, because uh, so, one of them is Newt. So his first tech test, and he's got a tech of seven, so we have to get under seven. Well, he got seven, so that, that'll do. So we're gonna try this one first. And it's Newt, amazing. Um, I am absolutely flabbergasted I managed to do that because you did see me shuffle these at the beginning of this. So um, great, so that's Newt. So we take her off and we replace her with her Newt miniature. And she is quite miniature. So uh, there's Newt. Affirmative. So Newt is in there. Now we need to calm her down. Uh, if we don't manage to calm her down by the uh, end of our character's activation, then she's going to run away uh, because she doesn't really trust this group of um, Marines. So now we've uh, managed to do that with Hudson. We're going to get him the hell out of there. So he's going to go one, two, three, four down here. It's the end of his activation, so we have to draw a card. Uh, we draw the last stand, and he gets to keep that in his hand. Now, he gets to activate a grunt. So, we are going to get him to activate um, Gorman this time. So, Gorman is going to uh, move one, two, three, four towards the spawn point. And then we're going to do a tech test with uh, Gorman to try to barricade this. So, we need a five or less to be able to do this. And we got a five. So, we've barricaded this enemy entrance. Barricaded. As you can see there. So it's now Ripley's turn. Now to calm uh, Newt down, we have to roll a four or um, a four or less to manage to do it. Uh, so Ripley, she's got to be within two spaces. So Ripley's going to go one, two. Um, yeah, we're just going to move for two spaces. Uh, but before we get there, sorry, so she moved there, we have to reveal this, and we find an alien, but there's two of them. So we put an alien and a token underneath the alien. And this alien is going to activate in the next turn, unless we uh, kill it. They've got a speed of six, you get to kind of attack them before they attack you. Um, and I don't think there's actually any acid splash damage in this game that I can see from this, which is a bit of a shame. But um, okay, never mind. So she's moved one there. She's going to move there for two. Um, and then she's going to spend an action to try to calm uh, Newt down. So we need to get four or less. And of course we get a 10. So Newt is not, not calmed down at all. Um, we can't do the end of activation. There is no end of activation for her. So um, Vasquez next. So Vasquez goes here for one. And then she's going to use her smart gun. So let's take a look at the smart gun. So normally you would exhaust three cards when you do this. But Vasquez has a special ability where she can just she just has to do two. Um, so we have to exhaust two cards, and then we roll two dice in the high and we discard the highest one. Uh, but she can't equip a backup weapon. I didn't see that. So I have these M40 grenades. She shouldn't actually have them. So I'm going to just put them at the bottom of the endurance deck. So we exhaust um, two cards to do this. So the top card is uh, that. You've got to check for hazards when you draw these out. And sorry, these, um, these go face down as well, I believe. So we've got two cards in there. And Vasquez is now shooting. So we just need to get under her aim, which is currently six. Yeah, so she got a four. So we bag one alien. And then we reduce her aim by one. So now she's got an aim of five. Okay, so we're going to get um, activate... Hicks now, so he's going to move two spaces, and then he is going to try to kill this guy. So he's got an M41A pulse rifle, um, so he has to exhaust a card when he takes an attack action with uh, this weapon. So we exhaust a card, and that card is uh, uh, this one here. So it's a helmet. We roll one dice, and we need to get under his aim, which is currently six. 
That's a 10. So he misses. And we have to decrease his aim by one. But because he's got a smart rifle, he's got full auto on it. So after you take an attack action with this weapon, you may take an additional attack action using a grenade weapon attached to this character. Um, so, great. We don't have any grenades um, attached, so it doesn't do anything. Um, so that's the end of end of his go. So the alien's definitely going to attack him this turn. Um, we're the only person we've not activated yet is Frost. So he's going to do a tech test. Uh, and his tech is five, I believe. Yeah, it's five. So we're going to roll this. We want to get five or less. Nine. So he's going to try again. Six. So he's still trying to barricade this door. It's not working for him. Next, we activate the aliens. And we have an alien. So they go towards the closest character, which in... Wait, before I do that, sorry. Uh, before I do that, uh, Newt moves i believe so she has got two move actions and her speed unfortunately is five so she's going to move up far as far away as possible from the marines so she's going to move 10 spaces which unfortunately is going to bring her down here so one two three four five six seven eight that's the furthest away i can get from marines um there could be an alien there there could not be an alien there we don't know but newt has just ran away and now it's the alien's turn so the alien uh, comes in. So let's go, let's show you how the alien turn works. So we move the alien in. As soon as it's, um, as soon as it's there, Hicks gets to shoot. Unfortunately, Vasquez can't shoot through Hicks and Ripley can't shoot through Vasquez and Hicks. So Hicks is the only one who's able to shoot here. So um, he has, he's got his shotgun. So we're going to use that. Um, and he has to exhaust one card when he takes the attack action with his weapon. Um, so we reduce this to four. He's got to get five or less to um, be able to do this. Oh, he misses. So he shoots, it misses. Um, so now the alien is going to attack and Hicks has to roll under his defense. So his defense is four. Now, because he's got the shotgun, it gives him a minus one to his uh, defense dice roll. So he needs to get... Um, Five or less, or he's been hit. A ten. Oh, it's game over, man. It's just game over. Uh, and a little, a little unknown fact uh, here. Because he rolled a ten, that is the worst possible thing you could do. So unfortunately, Hicks is dead. So we say goodbye to this character for the rest of the campaign. This alien has just killed Hicks. So we have to discard all of his stuff. The shotgun, the pulse rifle, the body armor. So we have got one more chance. We do have this body armor. So if you fail a defense roll, reveal a card. So uh, we're gonna do that. Reveal a card and the top card is an event. Uh, I get to re-roll the defense roll. This is the only thing that's gonna stop Hicks from dying. So I need to get five or less. A four, I've managed to do it. Oh, that was so close. So, um. Yeah, so actually, our body armor saved us. That was very close. Hicks could have been killed then, uh, but he is still alive. <sighs> close. So let's put him back on the board. And that ends the alien activation. So we now do the blips. So um, we have a look over here. We've got those blips. We roll the alien dice to see how far they move. Six. Okay, so they're going to move towards the closest character. So I just have to have a quick count to see how quick they would be to get to Hudson. Yes, yeah, so they're going this way. So one, two, three, four, five. And there's four here. And there's one there. So it's going to move there. So we got a ton of aliens chasing uh, Hick Hudson here. So just so you can see that we've got two aliens coming. Well, we've got four aliens in the front and one alien in the back. Uh, it's like Hudson's not actually quite seen him yet. Uh, 
um, and then we draw motion tracker cars, but we don't because it's only turn two. So uh, at the end of turn two, we have, the board looks like this. Newt's run off down here. We've got an alien attacking uh, Hicks here. Um, Hudson is about to get swarmed by two, um, well, five aliens in total over there. Um, Frost is desperately trying to uh, barricade this door here, whilst Gorman's managed to barricade the um, spawn point. Okay, so it's turn three, and things are going to take a desperate turn. At the end of this turn, we are going to have to draw out multiple um, motion tracker um, things, so it's going to be it's going to be tricky. Okay, so let's start off with Hudson. So on activation, he can recycle any number of event or um, or equipment cards from his hand, but we don't need to do that just yet. Okay, so Hudson is going to move. Um, it's going to move here. And you know what? We're gonna we're gonna move down this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, So he's backing up here. The aliens are going to come out. Um, yeah, he's he's backing up. Um, so at the end of his activation, we have to draw a card. And it's an event, so we get to put that in our hand. Um, basically, we can pick something up here. So search the exhaust pile for any one card and add it to your hand. Or look at the top five cards of the motion tracker deck. So he's got an yet another event in his hand. Um, He's then going to activate Frost. Frost is going to try to uh, barricade this door again. He needs to get a five or five or less. Seven. Five. So finally, we've managed to barricade this door. He's come out screaming, Frost, close that door, man. You've got to close that door. So this is barricaded also. Okay, so let's go over to our Marines down here. It's Ripley's activation, so uh, she gets recycled two endurance cards, and we've got some of those. So um, what you do is you basically pick up uh, the top two cards from here, and then you place them underneath the, uh, there's like a thick card at the bottom of here, and uh, you replace them under that. I'm not sure where that came from, so I'm just going to put that there. Um, that's what happens when you're trying this one-handed. So uh, they go there, that goes on top. And she gets to draw a card. And she gets an event, which is we got knives, got sharp sticks, such exhaust power for any one card, and add it to your hand. Okay, so uh, Ripley's going to begin then. So she is going to move down here. One, two, three, four, five. And I'd say she's got um, she's got line of sight on whatever that thing is. And it's one alien. Juan the alien. And, uh, you know, it's, it's trying to get Newt. If Newt dies, we lose the game. So uh, she is going to uh, use her... She's going to shoot at this guy. So she, uh, her aim is... She's going to spend one of her aim to do this. She's got seven or... Um, seven or less. Um, and she's got to discard a card to do this. It's called exhaust a card, sorry. Um, so she needs to get under seven, seven or less, three. So she kills that alien, no problem. Well, it's not her first time dealing with aliens. Unfortunately, she's not close enough to calm Newt down. And I don't blame her, really. Uh, Newt should be uh, scared, really. Okay, so um, I guess we're going to go for uh, Hudson, uh, Hicks at this point. So Hicks is going to use his pulse rifle. So we exhaust a card and we found uh, this card. So that gets exhausted. And then he's rolling, uh, rolling a dice here and a four. So that's under his aim. He manages to shoot, um, shoot this alien. So his aim is now five. So that alien is gone. Um, the next thing he's going to do is he is actually going to aim for his, um, for his, 
ne next turn. So that increases this to a six. Actually, that makes no sense. We shouldn't, we shouldn't bother with that. We'll leave it where it is. He is going to um, come down here. One, two, three, four. Uh, so Vasquez is going to, um, what should we do with Vasquez? Vasquez is also coming down here. So she's going to come this way. One, two, three, four. One, two. Ugh. I'll save there because I don't know what's in that one. So we're going to leave her where she is. And then Gorman's not activated yet. He says moving the entire board accidentally. Uh, so Gorman hasn't activated yet. Um, so what can we get Gorman to do? So Gorman is going to spend um, two actions aiming. Although that doesn't make any sense. Actually, we're not going to do that. Gorman is going to rest. Um, so when you rest, you have to draw two cards. Okay. And then we have to, um, once we do that, we then get to recycle up to three cards from the exhaust pile. Um, so he doesn't get to keep these cards. We get to put three back into the bottom. If I play the wrong, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so uh, it's the moment you've been waiting for. Uh, the aliens activate now because this blip doesn't move, but the aliens do. So we don't need to roll for their movement because they move a speed of six, and they're going to be headed towards this little cadre over there. So um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey! Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So now we have to draw two motion uh, cards because we're playing a solo game. So uh, this is the first card on the motion tracker deck. And this is a level two threat because it's got um, more blips on there than the level one card. Um, cool. So we are going to be spawning one blip at three. Uh, now three is actually uh, already there. So um, if this spawn point already has a blip or alien model, move this blip four spaces towards the nearest character. So we're just going to spawn something on there straight away. So I'm going to grab one of these. And we have four aliens on there. So four aliens have just like fell out of the like ceiling here. I probably should have barricaded this. So those aliens have popped there. Uh, and then we draw the next motion tracker and it's uh, spawn point four. Exhaust one card for each character within line of sight of this blip when it spawns, but no one can see this at the moment. Um, so we basically just spawn a blip on there. Um, so we grab a blip and we put it on here. And that's the end of turn three because uh, Newt isn't going to run away from, I don't know, would Newt run away from these guys up that way, back the way she came? I guess so. Uh, so Newt should have moved actually, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to put Newt running up that way. Uh, that might be, might be play wrong, I don't know, but uh, let me know in the comments below. So we're on to turn 4 now. Uh, it's the start of Hudson's... Uh, turn so he may recycle any number of events or equipment cards from his hand he doesn't want to do that um so we're just going to go straight for it he's going to be shooting at these um these aliens so um uh, the first thing he does his his aim is already at six so we're going to be rolling a dice and we want to get uh, under six so you got a 10, and we also have to exhaust a card. Oh, and it's a hazard, so this happens. Burke's Treachery. Uh, so we have to reveal a card. So it's an event, which means uh, exhaust eight endurance cards, then discard this card. Oh, so um, that's... So uh, one, two, three. Sorry, I think I should be revealing as I do them. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. And then Burke is out. Oof. So that was his first attack. <laughs> um, so we're going to attack again with, the, with that. So we're going to discard another card to do this. Exhaust a card even. And he needs five or less now. And I got a nine. So another miss. He's obviously freaking out. So his aim's now down to four. Okay, he's then going to activate. Um, who should we activate? Let's go for Gorman. So Gorman can't actually shoot where he is, so he's going to have to move to there. And he is then going to chuck his grenades. So rather than use these in part of his, um, his gun, he's going to chuck this. So he discards this card to make an attack with his weapon. Choose a space that is uh, within four spaces of your character. And the line sight, roll for each model and token in that space and within one space of it. So I need to get six or um, six or less. And I'm rolling this five times. So I killed one alien. So we'll kill this guy here. You always were an asshole, Gorman. And that's the end of Hudson's turn. Uh, Hudson should have picked up a card. Uh, he gets to keep this event. Okay, so Ripley. Just playing uh, wacky races, chasing after uh, two, three, four, five. Um, I'd say she's within two here, so she needs to get four or less to uh, calm her down. And we did it. We've calmed Newt down. Amazing. So Newt now joins our intrepid team. Uh, so she's on a hero side, so she gets to activate straight away. Uh, when Newt takes a rest action, you may recycle an additional card. And activation exhausts two cards to move a character within line of sight two spaces towards Newt. So I'm going to keep her close to Ripley. Um, okay, so we've got all the aliens down here. Um, so we are going to... Um, Vasquez is going to attack this alien. Uh, so we have to exhaust two cards to do this. Hazard. Reveal cards until you reveal a weapon card or you reveal five cards. Discard all, discard all revealed cards. Okay. So, um, one. Oh. Um, if you discard one or more thingies in this way, shuffle this card back into your exhaust pile. Otherwise, discard this card. So uh, we've got one, two, three, so four there. They are discarded. And this goes back into our exhaust, um, our exhausted uh, deck. And did it say shuffle? Yeah, so I've got to shuffle that into the exhaust deck. Okay, so um, we get to shoot though. So we're rolling two dice and the lowest one counts. So we got a star, so that's a one, so that kills one alien. And she's gonna discard another two cards to do attack and again. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's above her aim this time, so she can't do it. Um, so yeah, she misses. Uh, we're now going to activate Hicks. So Hicks is going to discard a card to shoot with his uh, pulse rifle. Obviously he misses, and he's going to do the same again. This time he's going to need um, four, five or more, sorry, five or less, and four. So he does hit this alien. So this alien, another one is dead. Um... Okay, so we're going to activate Frost next. Frost one, two, three, and he is going to uh, shoot with this. So he's got to exhaust two cards to make an attack with this weapon. 
and he always needs to get seven or less to do this. So it's two to do it. And he's rolling for everyone in there. So he needs to get seven or less. Um, we're rolling four times. So let's roll two dice there. Seven or less, two sixes. And then he's rolling his last two dice, a six and a two. So he's killed all aliens there. Well done, Frost. After shooting him, 240 flamethrower, reveal a card. It's a weapon card, so nothing happens. Okay, uh, and then it's Newt's turn. So Newt is going to run one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, technically, we could we could actually uh, do this mission if we get these guys out with with her, and uh, we might have to sacrifice some people. Uh, but hey, that's that's how it works, right? It's the aliens' turn now, guys. So um, it's going to attack. Um, we get to choose who it's going to attack. So we're going to go for Vasquez because Vasquez has got more body armor, um, and she's got a better weapon. So uh, we've got to reduce her aim by one because she gets an attack before it gets in. Um, we have to exhaust two cards. So those two cards get exhausted. Uh, we're then rolling the dice. And we go for the lowest number. So it's a three, does it? So she uh, kills one of these guys, but there's still another one coming in. So she now has to roll under her defense. Her defense is three. Oh. Um, so... She got a four, which means the alien would um, would knock her over, but um, she can use her helmet. So she's gonna do this. If she gets an equipment card, then it passed. It is a hazard placed on your character each time your character activates, reveal a card. Oof. So she's losing all hope. Uh, and then we're also gonna try to do the other equipment, the body armor. So. I roll, uh, reveal a card, it's an event, so I get to re-roll the defense card, uh, the defense dice, three or less, six, oh dear. So uh, Vasquez is knocked over. Um, okay, so now we're gonna use the motion, uh, motion tracker now. Um, oh, I didn't activate blips, sorry. I should have activated the blips first, five. That's over there. So now I do the motion tracker phase. Sorry, it's the first time I've actually had to do this on film. So it's, um, yeah, this is a level one threat because there's only a couple on here. And what would we do? So an alien vanguard. So we put a blip on four. And then we reveal a card. It's a weapon. So we place another blip at spawn point one. Okay, and that gets revealed straight away because um, it could be seen by everybody. So that was the first spawn card. And the second spawn card, alien drones at three. Uh, players must either discard one barricade in play or place a second blip at spawn point one. If there are no barricades in play, then uh, barricades in play, then players must place an extra blip. So uh, alien drones are gonna come out at three, which is this one here. Um, so we'll find out what that is. Three. It's a lost cause for these guys down here. Uh, <laughs> uh, and we are going to also uh, discard this barricade up here. Turn five, it's looking bad in Hatley's Hope for our Marines. Um, so we've got to the reshuffle card. So basically everything we've recycled, which isn't much, we have to sh uh, shuffle and then put on top. I should have been doing a lot more um, recycling, really. I forgot about Ripley's initial ability to do this as well. Um, so let's see how we get on. Um, so we're gonna start with um, Hudson. So Hudson is on activation. You may recycle any number of um, stars or equipment from your hand. So he's gonna do that. He's got a couple in here. Um, So he's going to do all four of these. So he's going to recycle all of those. They're at the bottom of the endurance deck now. So we've got a bit more endurance once we've finished with that there. 
Uh, so now he's going to activate, and he is going to just get the hell out of dodge. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, and then he is off the board. He's exited uh, like a true hero. Uh, the next he is going to activate um, Gorman. Gorman is going to do the same. So Gorman is off the board. So now Ripper's turn. So, uh, no, before I do that, sorry, it's, I should have, before Hudson did anything else, I should have done this last thing, which is uh, he reveals a card. It's an event, and he may, he got to put that into his hand, although he's not actually uh, in play at the moment because he's off the board. So I don't know how, quite how that works. Answers below, please, guys. Um, right, so it's Ripley's turn. It's pretty much uh, game over for the Marines down there. Um, so um, Ripley's just going to... We're just doing this as a one-off, so we're just going to run. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, we're then going to activate uh, Newt. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, and she's off the board. Sorry, before I should have done any of that. Ellen Ripley, come on, Adam. Right, so all I should have done is, on activation, recycle two endurance cards and draw a card. So I should have done that. So two of my in, uh, exhausted cards, I then put at the bottom of the endurance deck. And then I draw a card. And it's some equipment, it's an M4 helmet. So that goes into her hand. Um, and then we're going to activate Frost. Frost is also going to escape. Hicks. So Hicks is going to go down swinging because he's an awesome dude. So um, we're going to shoot with our... Uh, we're going to shoot with his uh, assault rifle, his pulse rifle. So we discard a card, which is an event. Sorry, we exhaust a card. I'm rolling two dice. It should be rolling one. Sorry. I will roll it in my die rolling thing. So he got six, so he manages to kill one of these guys. So he's going to shoot this guy here. Um, and then he's going to exhaust, he's going to attack again. So I've got to exhaust another card. He's five or less, and he misses. So he misses this big alien here. Okay, now Vasquez, because she's not um, next to an alien, she can stand up this turn, and that's the end of her turn. And that's, that's the end of the Marines' turn this go. So um, it's not looking great for my guys. Uh, but hey, that's how it works. So we're going to start with uh, this alien first. He's going to obviously be attacking Hicks. Um, Hicks gets to attack back. So he's going to be rolling. Uh, he needs four or less to be able to do this. Um, so here we go. Will he be able to defend? He did. He shoots one of the aliens. But they're still coming for him. There's still another two in there uh he now rolls his defense defense is four and he got a three so um yeah he defends that now if he'd got two or less he would have actually killed an alien in the process uh so next this alien we've got to figure out who's closest to this alien ripley or um Vasquez. and i should have moved the blips first sorry guys no i shouldn't blips are afterwards I was doing right. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he got right up to him. So he gets to attack as well. So Hicks, he's got um he's got an aim of three now. He misses. We have to discard a card for that shot. Um, so now we have to roll for his defense. It's four or less. He got four, so he defends that as well. They're coming in from all sides for uh, Hicks at the moment. Right, now we activate blips. So we roll a dice. Speed is four. One, two, and then we have to roll a dice. If we get four, uh, four, five, or six, they break through here. Five. Okay, so they break through here. They come out there for their fifth action. There's two aliens. And they come in there for six. And uh, these guys... One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, we now do the motion tracker, so we we'll reveal two of these. Uh, so spawn point one. If the spawn point already has a blip or any model, move this blip full space towards the nearest character, but there isn't, so we just add a new alien to the board. And there's three of them. Okay. 
going all over the place here. Uh, and then our next motion tracker card, Aenon Vanguard. So on spawn point two, which is barricaded, we're going to be placing the blip. So we have to roll a four, five, or six to be able to place these guys. And we didn't, so it's barricaded. Gorlin or Frost, whoever did that, has, has managed to keep that there. Uh, but we then have to reveal a card. Uh, but we've got to the bottom of that deck, so we have to reshuffle this. And hope it is an equipment or uh, event that we get. Which I'm fairly certain they're all events at this point. So yeah, an event. So nothing additional happens. It's turn six in Hadley's Hope. Uh, this is as far as the dial goes. So um, yeah, I don't know what to say really, guys. Uh, so at the start of uh, Rupert's activation, she gets recycled two endurance cards. So two of those cards are going to the bottom of the endurance deck. She then draws a card, which is this, which is reveal a card. And she can she can basically just change how things work out for her uh, on the motion tracker deck. Okay, so. Um, Ripley's going to, um, she can move past the alien, I believe, without any damage. So we're just gonna run her off the board. If this is wrong, let me know. But I'm fairly certain you can just, you can run past aliens. And now to the poor guys who are going to more, most likely die now. Uh, so Vasquez first, she has got um, an aim of a six and she's got her smart gun. So she is going to exhaust some, she's gonna, she needs six or more. Ah, but she has got losing hope. So um, each time your character activates, reveal a card. We go on events, we have to exhaust four cards. We only have one card left in the endurance deck. Uh, she has got to exhaust two cards, which means we have to get rid of one from the endurance and then we have to move one of the exhaust into the discard pile. So we exhaust that and then we exhaust one into here, into the discard to, for her to shoot. She so on two dice, she needs six or less to be able to do this. And she got a five, so she kills one alien. Uh, next, she's going to do the same thing again. Um, and she has to discard two cards. And she got five, she needed five, so she managed to do it, so she kills another alien. Okay, so Hicks's turn. So as far as I'm aware, like I say, I think I could just run past these guys, so he's gonna leg it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Like a true gentleman. Uh, next, the aliens activate. So we're gonna start with this one here, attacking Vasquez. She's gotta discard two cards to be able to use this, and she's got three or less to hit the thing. No, she misses, so it's going to attack her. She needs to get um, three or less to be able to defend herself. She's got a two. Oh, so she manages to hold off the attack there. Uh, these guys are all coming up for Hicks, so they can get there in no time whatsoever. Um, and he's got an exhausted card to defend. He gets uh, This is his attack. He got a ten, so he misses. He now has to defend. He's got a minus one to his... Um, this roll, he needs five or less. Four, so he managed to defend against that alien. And then these aliens, one, two, three, four, five, six, are coming up right behind. Okay, so um, it's now Vasquez's turn. We're on to the next, oh no, we're not. Activate blips, sorry. So uh, blips, two, and then motion tracker. So uh, it's like two. So we have to um, we have to roll four, five, or six to get it there. And it doesn't get through the barricade. So we ignore this. And the next one is we put an alien lurker in four. Um, and it's not in line of sight of any character, so it's gonna move four spaces. Okay, so that's the end of that turn. We now go to turn seven. And that's as close as I can get to a turn seven. So uh, Vasquez, I'm fairly certain, like I say, you can just run past these guys. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, Hudson is going to, sorry, Hicks. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
<laughs> they're not very stable on top of these uh these guys so um the aliens activate now so we start with the one who's closest to a marine so ugh. these these four come at vasquez vasquez is back to full aiming now so she's got six aim oh sorry i should have done this when i activated her so um i got an event so i have to exhaust four cards so that's basically discard four cards Oof. Um, and then she's attacking back, so she has to discard two cards. I'm going to run out of cards at this moment. So she's got to get under six. She's got a one, so she managed to kill one of these aliens. But they're still coming for her, as far as I'm aware. So she's got to get under her defense, which is three. She's a four, so she can... Um, she, if she fails a defense roll, she can reveal a card... It's a weapon card, so she can it doesn't do anything. The, the body armor's just exhausted. Uh, and then so that's the acid blood, I assume. And then the M4 helmet. Um we'll see what we can get here. It's an equipment, so she passes the defense roll. Okay, this next guy is gonna go one, two, three, four to um Hicks. We're not gonna attempt to def to attack back because we haven't got many cards to discard. So um we're just going to try and get under his defense of four, which we fail. Uh, he has got his body armor, so we're going to reveal a card. And it's a weapon card. So, um, yeah, he, his body armor is gone. Um, and he fails the defense roll. So he's knocked over. Uh, we then... There's a guy down here, so he moves six. Attacks, so it's got it. We've got to get under three. Four. Um, we'll use her M4. No, we're just going to take it. She's knocked out. Um, okay, so we're going to leave it there. So, um, in terms of story wise, um, Hudson and Vasquez have been captured by the aliens. If we carry on with this campaign, we would. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty pretty harsh if we did carry on. So uh, each player searches the discard pile and selects one card to return to the insurance deck. So I've got to find a cool weapon or something that I would like. We're going to grab this because we can recycle a bunch of stuff with. So we're going to grab that. That's back into our exhaust deck. We turn all hazard cards in the discard pile. Um, so any hazards we had, which we had a couple, they get returned to the deck. It kind of sucks. Uh, and then we shuffle the discard pile and remove half rounded up of the cards from the game. These cards may not be used for the remainder of the campaign. So... So these cards, there's more in this deck, so we're going to lose these. So Resolve, Ever Been Second was for a brand, the Flamethrower, a Body Armor, a Flare, a Last Stand card. Just deal with it. Look sharp. And two lots of M40 grenades are gone from the game. I cannot play with these if I continue this campaign. So um, I do get back all of these cards. Everything is in my exhaust pile. Gets back into my hand. Everything I had on my, my troops, as far as I'm aware, I get back, including the guys who are knocked out because they're not dead. Um, so that was the first uh, mission in Aliens, Another Glorious Day in the core. Well, uh, game over, really. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I'm not quite sure if I played that 100% correctly. I'm not sure if you can move past alien miniatures if they're next to you. Um, I would have still completed the mission if I if that is in, if that how I played it was incorrect, um, but overall I really enjoyed playing that. Um, I liked I like the kind of mechanics in it. The exhaust and discard pile is a really interesting mechanic they've added into here. Um, just kind of showing how you know how kind of 
how exhausted these marines are from going through fighting these kind of enemies and the enemies are really tough i thought oh well you know i've got his aim of six getting under a six on a d10 is pretty good oh man i had some terrible dice rolls i could see this game would frustrate some people if you are there's a lot of luck based in here you've got some equipment you can kind of offset and you've got some events you can use i didn't really use any events and i probably should have that probably would help me out like in droves really um so I might continue this. I might try the rescue mission next, which would be... Um, so you can basically choose whether to go on to the next mission, which would be... Um, I don't know what the mission's called, but um, the next mission uh, where in the in the current campaign, there's only three missions in the uh, base game. So um, you could go on to the next one. So I might do that. Um, or I can try a resupply mission where you get some of your cards back. Or I can try a rescue mission to try and get Vasquez and... A uh, hicks back because the moment my next level uh i'll be only going in with five characters uh and one of them being newt who can't actually shoot at all so that's worrying um but hey maybe i'll just try try with those five characters and just see how far i get or maybe i do go and try and rescue my guys i don't know we'll see uh well anyway i hope you enjoyed that video and um like i said at the beginning of this if i did make some mistakes which i probably have please leave comments below so that i and others watching this video can understand exactly how to play this game better um yeah i think that's about it if you like this video then please like and subscribe um leave me some comments because it's always nice talking to you guys i'm very quick to go back to you guys because i don't really have a life um and yeah if you like this then please like and subscribe to our facebook our instagram and of course youtube uh until next time guys stay safe and keep rolling